Hello students, Mr. Labor here. So today's lesson, we're going to be learning about file association and you guys are going to find out all about what, what that is all about. Um, it is, I'll tell you now, it is a very important concept and something that once you uh, understand will make working with a computer a whole lot easier. Um, now there is a worksheet to open up and to work through with this uh, lesson. So please have it on open and on the side of your screen and then we'll get started. Okay, so what is file association? Right, so here's a golf ball and we will know that a golf ball is uh, uh, used, we use a golf club to hit a golf ball and we've got a tennis ball here and what goes with a tennis ball? It's a tennis racket and another one here is a shuttlecock and what goes with a shuttlecock well it's a badminton racket okay so there we go so we all know that a golf ball is associated with a uh, a golf club a tennis ball with a tennis racket and a shuttlecock with a badminton racket so um, we can associate these sports balls with these tools Okay, right, how does that relate to a computer? Well, when we create, let's say, a new Word document, how does the computer know to associate that file with the correct program? And uh, the, what happens is the computer does this using something known as a file extension. And you may not realize it, but when you save and name a file, the name that you see is not the full name okay or the name that you create for that file is not the full name the full name of the file includes a dot and usually three or four characters after the name that you see for example if we name a file my file that's what we would see but actually the full name is my file dot and then it could be txt or my file dot docx so there's just two examples but every time you name a file it's going to have a dot in it and it's going to have some characters after the dot and this is called the file extension and it's used by the computer to know which program to open the file with the file extension associates the file with the program this is known as file association, okay? And it's the same when we hit the balls, we associate the balls with the racket or the tennis club. And what's happening is we have a file and we associate that file with a program. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look what that actually looks like on a computer and how it works in real life. Okay, so now we're going to see what that looks like. So we'll open up file explorer and go to documents and uh, I've got some files here um, and then if we go view and we go details we can get a little bit more information about them so uh, we've got a couple of JPG files up here those are picture files we've got some word documents here there's a publisher document here word publisher another picture file down there it's PNG and finally we've got a text document there um, which is going to open a notepad now when we double click on any of these file names it's going to open in its associated program so for example if I click on uh, this publisher document here so double click on that and here you go we've got uh, publisher opened and we can now work on our file so so um, so because this is a publisher file it says it's a publisher document over here we've also got a publisher icon here but the question is the thing is how does uh, the computer actually know that it is a publisher document well it's through file extensions so that name there is not the full name 
and if we click up here um, and then what appears is all our file extensions so this file name here is actually electrical safety poster dot pub and the pub tells the computer that this is a publisher document okay so therefore it says that the type of the computer the type of the file is publisher and it also puts the publisher icon there just to give us a visual indication that this is a publisher document and that's happening with all of these files up here these are word documents it tells us it's a word document it gives us the word icon and it does that because it's a dot doc now those are actually old ones um, yeah uh, here's, a, here's a practice document. It's a text document. It's got the notepad icon. And it all happens because it's .txt. So also when we double click on that, you can see that it opens up a notepad. Okay, so that's all good. <coughs> and I want to show you this one here. Now this one here is uh, one of the pictures that you guys will have done in a previous exercise and you saved it as firsthouse.png now when when we open this you see that it's opened up in photos okay now that's really good that's a that's it's excellent because it allows us to see the picture but if we wanted to make a, an edit to the picture we wanted to change the color of the sky or do anything any changes here the photos application is not going to be able to do it so we need to open it up into in paint and the trouble is that paint is not associated with PNG files but what we can do is we can right click on this file and there's an option here, where is it? Here it is, open with, and then we can choose one of these other programs to open it with. Now, Photos is there, but the, that's the default one. That's the one that the file is associated with. If we go Paint, that's the one that we want, and that allows us now to edit the picture. So for example, we could click on the paint bucket, choose a nice orange and have an orange sky. Okay, I'm going to close that, we're going to, I'm going to save it. So that's what file association is. So now that we understand that, we can start to make this work for us. Uh, we can start to hack a computer. Okay, so for example this one here. Okay, we know that because it's got .pub, it's going to open in Publisher. But let's say we wanted to open it in uh, a Word document. It, um, well, actually, it's not going to work because the problem is that the the file in there is not going to be recognised. The Word is not going to know what to do with that file. But we can still make it look like it is. So if we rename this. Um, if we rename this file and we take off the .pub and we use .doc and actually that's old, it, these days it's docx, that's going to turn it into a, a Word document. So you will see it change here. But there's going to be something happen first. I'll show you what happens when I push the enter button. Okay, so we, what's happened is Windows has given us a warning and it's saying if you change a file name extension the file might become unusable are you sure you want to change it and and they're warning us that it might become unusable the reason is because in this case word is not going to know what is in that file but we're going to do it anyway so here we go and there we go it, it now the computer believes that it's a word document it's given us the word icon. Okay, so let's open it up and see what happens. So here we go, opening it, and we've got a, a uh, an issue happen, and it says, "We're sorry, 
We can't open the electrical safety poster.docx because we've found a problem with its contents. And that's what's happened. The trouble is that Word, uh, what's that? Word cannot understand what is in, in this file because the file wasn't created with Word. So that's not going to work. There are cases where we can get it to work, um, but that's not going to work. Okay, so we need to take it back to Publisher in order to uh, open it. So we get the warning again about changing a file name extension, but are you sure you want to change it? Yes, we are. So we're back there. Okay, so, so that's all good. Um, there will be exercises that we'll be doing in the future where we will be actually changing the, the, the file extension and we'll be doing it for a purpose. Um, I'll wait before we get to that before, and then you'll find out what it's all about. Okay, well that's what File Association is all about. It's using the file name extension to associate a file with a program. And uh, now you know what that is, we'll, it'll help you to understand what's happening with the computer. We untick this because the reason is you don't want to be accidentally changing the uh, extensions because if you accidentally change, change them, then you could end up with a problem like you've just seen and it was that that was okay because we were able to take it back to a publisher file because we knew what it was originally but if an extension is changed and you don't know what the original one was you may never be able to open that file again so that's the reason why this is unchecked so that you cannot see the extensions and if you do want to change the the name of the files you're not actually going to change the extension so it's a uh, it's a safety measure but if you do need to change them or you do want to see what they are then you can always tick this and you can see all the extensions of your files okay so that's the end of this lesson and we'll see you guys in the next lesson